Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So you guys are in for a real treat today. Today we are branding a skincare brand, coming up with a name, coming up with a design, coming up with a branding, packaging, the whole works and I am so excited. So I have never actually had the chance to work with a skincare company, so I thought it'd be a really good opportunity for me to show my process and come up with a branding for a new skincare company that is within my style. So if you are new to this channel, then hey, my name is Abby and I am a brand designer with over five years of experience within the industry and I've been creating YouTube videos for over a year now and supplying you guys with the goods. So if you are ready, sit back, relax and get ready to see my process of me creating a skincare brand from scratch. So welcome to this video of me trying to make a whole skincare brand from scratch and attempting to make it look really, really good. Um, so the first thing that I do is come up with a name. So I like it to be really original and have a meaning towards the business. So I have been writing down loads of ideas, coming up with names, and I finally found one that I thought would work really, really nicely. So when I researched some skincare brands, a lot of skincare companies kept the name really, really small. So I wanted to do the same so I came up with the name Face It. So obviously a part of the element of skincare is to do with your face and I thought Face It was straight to the point, it is what it is and it's very small so I think it would work really nice on packaging and I have loads of ideas in my head of like the layout of the logo so I'm really excited to dive deeper into this name and hopefully create a skincare company that is recognisable and just stands out from the crowd. So we have come up with the name and the second phase of my process is to come up with the mood board and the inspiration and the direction that I wanna to go towards. So I have found a lot of packaging because this video is gonna be based around packaging of the skincare products as well as coming up with a brand from scratch. So I have got a lot of inspo and a lot of color on here. So I am definitely gonna go for bold, bright colors and something that is completely against the norm. So when looking for a lot of skincare products, I found a lot of them use like really pastel, quite plain colors. So I found a lot of inspiration from other companies with their packaging and I just know that I wanna take this in a really cool direction and make it stand out. So what I'm gonna do now is create a mood board in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm gonna bring some photos from Pinterest, pop them in my Illustrator document and then I will always have that as reference to make sure that I'm staying on track with the direction that I wanna go in for my brand. So I have created this mood board in Adobe Illustrator and I've just used boxes and a clipping mask to put all the images in place and create a really nice looking visual. So with the direction that I wanna go in, I have chosen some really nice images. So the things that are attracting me the most about this mood board are the bright colors. I definitely wanna use some different colors that may be against the norm for skincare because I like going just completely away from what everyone else is doing. So I'm really vibing with the loops image. I love the purples, the yellows, the mint greens. It honestly looks really, really good. And I love the black against all of the colors. So that might be something that I go down. So even though the typography on my mood board looks really premium. I'm not actually going for a premium vibe, but I still want there to be some sort of edge to the brand. So I'm taking this as inspo and I'm gonna see exactly what I can come up with. So as I mentioned before, the name of this skincare brand is Face It and I wanna use that name within the brand as well. So I wanna create like comical puns within the branding. So it could be something like, let's face it, you need this product and just have like a comical feeling within the brand. So mood board is done and it is there in my view. I am gonna get on with coming up with the primary logo and the secondary logo. So the primary logo is the main logo for your brand. So this is the one that you will probably end up using the most. And then the secondary logo is just basically your main logo but in a completely different layout. So if your client ever needs to use the logo in a different situation, so for example, if your main logo is a stacked logo, you will need to, the secondary logo to be a landscape logo. So then your client has the option to use that if they need it in that particular space. So first things first is trying to find the typography. So I do want to go for the serif typeface. I feel like it would just work really, really nicely. And I like the idea of having like different thicknesses to the brand. So I'm going to try and find a font that does this and one that I can manipulate too. So I have 
I've chosen eight different fonts. Is it eight? One, two, three, no, ten. I can't even count. Ten different fonts, um, and they are all quite similar, but if you actually look at each one individually, you will notice that there are a lot of differences. Um, and this can be the struggle for any designer trying to choose what font they want because there are similarities within fonts, but even the slightest change on each font can have a massive difference. So I'm gonna go through each font and pick ones that I wanna keep and ones that I am just getting rid of. So first one is this one, which is Tenez, if I've pronounced that correctly. So it is a little thick for me and it just isn't giving me the vibe that I have in my head, even though I don't know what I wanna go for yet, but it is just not there. So we are getting rid of that one. Next one, I kind of like this. It's still a little thicker than I wanted, but that can still be manipulated. So I'm gonna keep that for now. The next one, I love the curvature within this. It really does just stand out. So I'm gonna keep that in for the moment. Next one, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna just end up keeping them all. I always do this. So I really like this one and I love the ends on each letters, how it gets thicker. That is what I want within a font. I don't want it all to just be sort of the same size. So I'm really liking that one, so I'm keeping it. Next one is this, and I don't know what drew me to it, but I do like how elongated it is, but I'm just gonna get rid of it because it's not what I have in my head. So that one is gone. Top one, is, this is really nice. I like how, even though it has harsh edges, it has a really nice soft feel to it, but I have other ones that I'm more attracted to at the moment, so I'm gonna just get rid of it. This one, oh my God, I am obsessed with this A. This one is called Baggerish, if I've even pronounced that correctly, and that A is just so delicious and yeah, I'm really liking this whole font. So I'm gonna keep this one in. It's very different and I do want something like quirky to my brand, so I'm keeping it. Next one, I am obsessed with this A as well. It must be something about A's. A's are just an elite letter, so I'm vibing with this A. It has a really nice flow feeling, which does remind me of like a skincare brand. So keeping that one. Next is this one. It is too thick for my liking, so it is going. And then this bottom one, I was attracted to the A again. I love how this top bit just ends up slightly going over and creating a really nice look. Um, I think it may be a little too fancy for what I'm going for, so I'm eliminating it. It is gone. Okay. So now I have five left. Now let's break these down even more. So this one I am getting rid of. This one getting rid of. And there were three. There were three. Right, I'm looking at this one again now and I feel like it may be just not what I'm wanting. I don't know, something about it is just drawing me away from it. So I'm taking that as a sign and I'm deleting. It's gone. So we are left with two now, which is good. We have managed to get rid of eight. This is what I normally do. I normally just stare at them for a while and one of them does normally just like shout at my face. So give me a sec. I feel like the top one is gonna work. I can sort of manipulate that one a little more than the bottom. And I'm just seeing a really good vision for this top one. So I'm gonna just eliminate the bottom one. Goodbye. And we are just gonna go for it. We're gonna roll with it and see if I can create a skincare brand that looks as awesome as it does in my head. So I had an idea to make it like italic, but they don't actually have an italic within this font. So I'm gonna make it and I'm gonna show you how you can do this within Adobe Illustrator if your text isn't italic and you need a little italic in your life. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this font so then I always have it so I know what the font is because there's nothing worse than outlining your text and then forgetting the name of the font. So outline the text by pressing Command O and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ungroup it and then group these two together. So that is grouped. Then within Adobe Illustrator, there is actually a really cool tool which is the free transform tool. So once you click that, this little baby will come up and you get the chance to go through and pick which one you wanna choose. So for me, I'm going with the free distort, which allows me to manipulate this text and sort of move it to any position that I want. So I want to make this italic just because I feel like at the moment I need there to be a divide between the two words. So adding an italic in is really gonna make this go from face it to face it. 
if that makes any sense. It does in my head. So yeah, we're gonna do this. So now I'm just gonna manipulate this. Um, I'm gonna take each corners. So I'm just gonna apply the slant to both sides equally and make sure that they look really similar and as if it was an italic to begin with. So I'm just gonna keep playing until I can get it into a position that I like. stage where I just really like it like that. I'm really liking the simplicity and I just think it works really nicely with the direction of the A pulling you one way and the italics of the it pulling you another. So it kind of just works really nicely in that sense. So next is trying to find some colour for me. So once I have sort of have the main logo done, I like to add in some colours and just see exactly how it's going to look. And then once that's done, I like to move on to the secondary logo. So my main logo is a landscape logo at the moment and um, it means my secondary logo is going to either be stacked or in like a different sort of layout than what the main logo is. So let's find a colour because there are a lot that I could do for this brand. I'm going to try and pull it away from the norm for what you would see for a skincare brand. So first I am just going to choose like a few colours from the mood board and see if any of them give me any inspiration. So I really like the peep image on my mood board. I love the lilac, the yellow and the black. That one really works really nicely. So I might go for that vibe. But then I do also like the bright blue, the mint colors. So this is gonna be so hard. So I'm gonna just go for a few colors, see what comes to mind and see which works well. the like luminous yellow against the colors it is i'm vibing with it right now so this is what i normally do when trying to find a color i just go and do a load of colors and then i come back sit down and see which one is actually working why do all of these colors look really good <laughs> it's gonna be so hard i want to like nail it down to like three colors that just work really well with each other i definitely want to go for the black and the yellow colors and then it's just finding one that works really nicely. See, I really like the purple. This one is working really nicely. I feel like the orange and the yellow may not work for this brand. The purple and the yellow will work so nicely. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. And then the mint as well is gone. So the colours have been chosen and I'm really liking the direction that this brand is going in. So I'm hoping that it's going to turn out as well as I think it is. Next move is to come up with the secondary logos. with the flow on this one so within skincare brands you normally get a really nice photography of the moisturizer being pulled out so i thought it'd be really nice to include that within this secondary logo i have no idea if this is going to look good or if it's going to look awful but bear with me as i try and do this so as i said before i want a different sort of thickness so i want some parts to be really thick some parts to be really thin so i'm going to use the width tool to do this so if you draw a line and then you can go to each point and you can basically like make it bigger, make it smaller and just adjust the width in a way that I want. So I'm just gonna have a play around and see if I can make this look good.
is looking fine. I have just, ast I'm astonished. I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling just so overwhelmed right now because this is coming together so much better than it was in my head and it is looking incredible. So we have done the secondary logo and I did find it hard to create that squiggle. I wanted it to be really thick at one end, really thin at the other, just to get a really nice like flowy feeling that you would with skincare. But it works really nicely and the layout of it just works really well. And I even did the icon logo, so just like a monogram. And then created a really nice pattern for it of the F and the I together, which may work really nicely on the packaging. I'm just so excited about this brand and the purple, the black, and like the neon yellow just is a vibe. And I'm not sure if a skincare company have gone with these colors before, but if they haven't, they need to because this is a brand that is definitely gonna stand out against the crowd, against any skincare company out there. I'm vibing with it. Let me know if you're vibing with it as much as me. There's just something about colour that I just get so obsessed with and when you find the perfect colour palette as a designer, nothing feels better and to see it just work so well. So we have the basics of the brands now. We've got the colours, the typography, the logos, a little pattern. If you've watched my videos, you guys know that I love using photography within this and for a skincare brand, I can just imagine how sick these photos are gonna look with this logo. Um, so what I'm gonna do is find some photography on Unsplash and Pexels, which are free websites that you can use for commercial use. So if you aren't using them within your projects, make sure you go and check these websites out because they really do bring brands to life. So I'm gonna find some really nice images that fit really nicely with this brand. I really like the idea from my mood board of using fruits and I could even use like lemons within this because um, isn't lemon meant to be really good for your face or is that just a myth? I don't know, let me know. Um, but I'm gonna find something that works really nicely and see it come together. Let's face it, this brand looks sick. I needed to use that pun in there somewhere. So we are good to go and start creating some packaging and I'm gonna mock up some skincare creams, some box packages and some other bits that I can find and get my hands on. So I'm gonna go to Envato Elements and find some mock-ups. So I have found some mock-ups and I'm gonna start creating some packaging. So I found like a tube box that I'm gonna package first. I've got some other tubes and cosmetic pieces that I will mock up and show you guys. I was struggling to know what colors to use, but throughout the whole brand, I think it'd be really nice to just use different colors 
on each product. So for this one, I went for more of the purple and blacks. And then within the photography, you can include your color palette as well. So with the objects, I added in that really nice neon yellow. I've done some more mock-ups, which I will show you now. And I am just so over the moon. I'm actually impressed with myself for creating this brand. And if this was a real skincare company, I would honestly just buy it for the packaging. I'm the type of person that buys stuff because of the packaging and just keeps it because I'm that type of girl. So without further ado, let me show you the whole brand. of the branding please let me know in the comments your thoughts and if this is your sort of vibe or if you're just not vibing with it i am just all about color and i am obsessed with this color palette it is just everything that a skincare brand needs even if it does go against the norm of using pastel colors i just feel like using something like this is so distinct and will just get you that recognition that you need for a brand. I have had so much fun creating this brand and I love coming up with projects that I haven't designed before because it really does just step me out of my comfort zone, which is what I try and do every single day when designing new things. So if you aren't trying to jump out of your comfort zone when designing, please start trying it because that is the way that you will learn. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see some more content just like this.